So what you're seeing right now is the cherry tree in my backyard and we are in the month of May. So if you see closely some of the flowers have been pollinated and you can see some fruits. Sun is blinding me, so I'm not sure if you can see what I'm saying. Yeah, there. It's been this is third year of this tree and last two years there has been a lot of problem of black aphids and this year it seems it's not much of a problem as such but what I'm doing is every day or every after every two days or something just try and see and find out those leaves which are curled up and if you can find some black aphids behind it just try to remove all those leaves that's what I'm doing right now just to make sure that the fruits are um, you know developing fine what I have noticed recently is what do they do, the black aphids? How do they develop basically? If you see closely here. I'm sorry for the blur camera. Okay. So this. This is what you should look for. Um, just try to remove all of these. That is what is spreading the disease all over the tree. So, and one more is here. If you can see, if I can show you. this one here so we should look for these things on your tree and try to remove those just scrape it off the tree as soon as you see them as early as possible so that it helps in keeping away the uh, disease from the tree and your fruit will develop just fine thank you very much thank you for watching This is what I'm talking about. Okay. Uh, while cutting, uh, just make sure that there's no fruit. Or you're not cutting out the fruit. Okay, even if you find some tender leaves. Yeah. Infested with these efforts. Just cut them off. Take them off. So that's that's what I've been doing. You know, every two days or maybe a week, as time permits. And you should be able to keep the tree safe, and hopefully you'll get some fruits. So I'm hoping for good fruit this year.